Kristen reads the Bible and prays to God. A Christian is a good person who helps others and does good deeds. These are all good answers and are reflective of what a Christian does. But a person may do all these things and not be a Christian. Then what is a Christian? The term Christian did not exist until a few years after the death and resurrection of Jesus. The word Christian is literally a direct translation from the original word in the Bible, the Christ's ones, meaning a follower of Christ. A Christian is someone who believes in everything that Jesus did and said, follows Jesus and lives according to Jesus' commands, teachings and way of life. One of the most important truths that Jesus taught is that how we live our lives and our final destiny, destiny ultimately stems from how we relate with the one true God who created all of us. And Jesus taught that the best life and destiny that God wants for us stems from knowing God as our loving Father. When we believe in Jesus, we are also believing that God loves us and treats us as His children. When we believe in Jesus, God calls us His children. The Bible says, Yet to all who did receive Him, to those who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. And that's what we read from John chapter 1, verse 12. Christians have a relationship with God as a loving Heavenly Father. What an amazing promise that is, isn't it? As a Christian, we embark on this journey of following Jesus and developing a relationship with God, our, help, our Father, and growing as His children. We are all on this journey because we have experienced the love of God. Just like any relationship we have with the people closest with us, we want to know them better and spend time with them. Especially when I'm anxious and when I'm lost, I don't know where to turn to, who to turn to, I'll go to Him. I'll surrender all my problems, all my worries to Him. Mm, he may not give me an answer immediately, but um, He gives me peace. And I always, always actually feel that His peace um, flows into me on and on. And mm, I feel safe and secure. I would think that hope is the biggest change um, for me in, in getting to know Christ because hope as in, in the past, my past mistakes, He will make it right in His time. And hope in the present because I know I don't walk alone. And hope in the future because come what may, my days are in His hands. Mm. Well, uh, my concept of life has changed, so uh, I've come to learn that uh, God is in charge and is in control in all situations. Everything happens for a reason, um, so I didn't have to worry or overthink. I just have to be in quiet confidence and be hopeful in, and joyful in His promise. Well, obviously I've known, uh, I've, I've been walking <laughs> in this path for many, many decades. Um, so you, you look back, you, you see that God is real in your life, right? Uh, all the big milestones, but also all the small things day to day. Jesus taught his disciples in moral stories called parables. In the parable of the prodigal son, we see a son who demanded his inheritance from his father even before the father died. This son left home and squandered all the inheritance on various pleasures. This son decided to go home and beg his father to hire him as a servant because his father's servants had plenty to eat and were well taken care of. The best news of this story is that the father was on a lookout for his son every day. When the father finally saw his son coming home, he ran to his son and welcomed him back even before the son could pitch the idea of being a servant. In our journey as a follower of Christ, there may be times we feel unworthy to be called a child of God, and we want to pitch to God, maybe let me be your servant because I am so unworthy. 
Imagine the scene of God running toward you as you made the decision to walk back to Him. And when we believe in Jesus, we are making the decision to go towards God and to live as His children. And God welcomes all of us, no matter our past. And we pray that you continue to spend time developing your relationship 